Hello everybody, it's me Robin from Arduino Solutions. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can create a user registration in your WordPress website by using free resources. Currently in this website, they don't have any login and registration option. But we are going to create these options in WordPress by using free resources. First of all, you have to log into your WordPress dashboard and then we are done. After that, you have to use a plugin. That's why you have to hover on plugins and then simply click on add new. You will see here search options. From here, search for ultimate membership. Then hit the search button. And then you will see at the top a plugin by ultimate member. You have to install this one. You will get different type of different plugins, but make sure you are installing this one. Yeah. Our installation already done now time to activate it so click on activate yeah our plugin has been activated also after activating this plugin in the dashboard menu you will see a new option that is ultimate member if you hover on it then you will see some options dashboard settings forms user rules member directories first of all click on dashboard we are going to show you what you will get in the dashboard then you will see how many users you have and how many approved and rejected. And also you will be able to see pending review, awaiting email confirmation and inactive members. First of all, we are going to create some pages. If you want to create login page, a registration page, my account page through the ultimate member plugin directly, then just click on create pages then all the required page will be created automatically then you can see here it's redirected to setting options with the all pages user page there we can see here user page for the login page already automatically set up the login page registration members logout account and password reset page also if you go on users you will get some options First of all, you can see here profile permalink page that is username is OK. That means when you are in your profile, then after the permalinks, there will show you name. Suppose your username is RBN Web Solutions. Then when you in the profile, then after the permalink, this will be show. So username is OK. You will get another options, but I don't think you should use this one username is perfect and user display name first name and last name everything is the default one is okay then you can check this required a strong password if you want to make sure all the users have to put a strong password then check it password minimum length 8 and password maximum length 30 you can increase or decrease it and all the settings are ok then make save changes if you click on account then here you will see some settings all the settings are ok here you will able to set some account deletion custom text if you want to change you can able to do and also for account deletion without password custom text so all the settings are ok with the default one and then you can click on the next step access for the settings all the default are ok so you don't need to change anything and next is email setup if you have any smtp server on your host then you will able to activate this one and you will able to send emails to the users suppose when someone will try to create account on your website then there will send a link which will be account activation email so if you want to enable it click on this icon and then just check it and then save changes when anyone will try to create account then he will get this type of activation link on his email so then the appearance from appearance you will able to set up some profile settings or how should display your accounts you can 
see here profile default template default one is okay we are not going to change anything we are directly going to the menu how we can add those pages very easily so to add the pages in the font in menu then we have to hover on appearance and then simply click on menus and already we are in the menu and this one is primary menu here this one is primary menu so beside this menu you want more options more pages so we are going to add we can see here automatically some pages has been created through the ultimate member plugin so we are going to add our required pages so first of all we want account page and then logout page register page and login page suppose those pages we want to add then we are going to update the menu and then reload the website you will see here our all the options so if you click on accounts then you will see your all the fields and uh, options but we are going to set up some conditions something like account page only the locked in users will able to see this and then we can set here the user rules we are going to set for customers and then logout logout options also will be able to see just locked in users and then the register register these options uh, should be for only for locked out users and the login login is also for locked out users so select it and account i think it's also uh, okay for the locked out users then save menu and now if you reload the website you will not those pages because we are locked in we are locked in that's why this is just showing the logout so for the account page we are going to set locked in users and then reload the website now you will see here only the account and the locked out i think for the account page everyone is perfect so everyone save menu now you can see here logged out and account those two pages showing because we have said only locked in user can see account page and logout page now if we browse this website from the another browser then we will see here all the options which should be shown for the logged out users I am not locked in to this website that's why I am getting now register and login options but when you I am locked in then I am not able to get the register options and the login options for the person who didn't log in to the website yet for them uh, they are showing those uh, login registration options so first of all we are going to register so click on register and then here you have to put a username suppose our username is rbn web solutions and then first name robin and last name shaun and email address is my personal email address and then again put password then now click on register at this time we are able to register and when i am registered and logged in then i am not going to show the login page anymore and register page anymore in the menu just i am uh, getting logout and my account page so in this way you will be able to add a user registration system to your wordpress website and i will 
highly request you to subscribe our channel because we are creating this type of tutorials regularly if you want to learn about wordpress perfectly then follow our youtube channel stay connected with rbnf solutions thank you